So hello guys, so this is a new tutorial on Twitter Suit and this time I'm going to teach you how to use timer and compare data together. Mm, so now basically, I, I, I'll be showing out a demonstration, an example. This is what we are doing, is how we are using comparators and timers together. Now, look, I'm having an example like I have one input and there are three outputs. Now what I want is when the input is on, I want the first output should glow for four seconds. As the accumulation starts, the, the first output should glow. So as the four seconds is complete, completed, I want the second output should glow. So similarly, after eight seconds, the third output like that. So now let's just start. I'll be showing out how the comparator has been using this. So let's take an input here. Two. Take a timer. Uh, I already have a preset of two wells, but delete this, delete this part of run. Now take a new run. Uh, now what? What I want? Like uh, as soon as the accumulation has been started, I want the output to glow. So for that, we need to make a TT bit. So how to make a TT bit? I have shown you in the previous tutorial. So let's just make a 3D bit. Uh, make use of uh, NC T. And zero dot q here we go now here we go now here we are taking use of a time now uh, compared now what what I want is for the first four seconds it should glow but if I won't use the comparator it would be keep on uh, waiting till the qubit is on and as the qubit is on then only the first output would glow so what I want is for the first four seconds it should glow so for the first four seconds we need to make use of a comparator here's a compare block now Percent D M zero dot V stands for accumulation of the timer. So what I want the first run should glow for less than equals to four seconds. So you got so this first run would be high for the first four seconds. Now let's just put it uh, output here. Q zero zero. Okay. Now let's just check. Is it right? Let's just save it. Some analyzation. Then let's emulate it. Here we go. Yeah, take times. On. Okay, here we go. If it would be on for the first four seconds. Now for that, it should be off. Yeah, I hope you got it. How oh, the comparator compare block doesn't use it. Now, what happens if we don't use this compare block? Not just uh, I told you, but uh, I would. I just wanted to just shoot, look out the practical thing which happens. You, yeah? so you would come to know that if you don't use the compare block, what would happen? Now, I'll just put out this into run mode. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Now look, it would be on, but it would be on till 12 seconds because the preset in the timer is 12 seconds. So what I want was it should be on for 4 seconds. So this is the reason we are using compare blocks. Yeah. Now let's just put that put out it again. Percent pm zero dot v accumulation should be tail 4 seconds. That's it. Now this is the first thing. Now let's just use uh, what I what I want. I have three outputs, one input. So I'll be having three more runs here, three more runs totally. So let's just put another run, another output, and I'll just make the same TD bit. T and zero dot Q and another couple of blocks. Here we go. Now what I want is this should be on for the next four seconds, like from four to eight seconds. So the accumulation should be starting from greater than four seconds. How we getting the greater than four seconds? Okay. Now one more thing. Now if we just put only one compare block here, it would be on till twelve seconds because accumulation has a preset of twelve seconds, so it won't stop. It won't stop at eight. And what I want is I want it should be stop at eight. So for that, let put let's let's put another compare block. Percent T and zero dot V and it should 
speed less than equal to 8 seconds. So, hope you're getting this thing. Yeah. Now, let's just put a, a output q0.1. Uh, this, let's just try this thing. And as it is, it's clear. No errors. Now, let's just learn this thing. Man. Run. Now, if you put in the run mode, you would get to know that. Yeah, for the first four seconds, this is on the first output. Now, for the next four seconds, yeah. Now, as soon as it becomes eight, it is off. But if you won't put another compare block, it would be on till 12 seconds. Now, this is almost done. About the 80% part is done. Now, let's just uh, use the last one. Like, uh, another one because the demonstration was about like i had three outputs and one input so only two output is done and the last one now just make another td bit the same td bit everything the same tm 0.q now another compare block now what i want the accumulation should be from greater than eight But less than equals to twelve. Mm. Person Q zero two. Yeah, that's it. This is the whole demonstration. I'll just put this into run mode. I'll save it. I'll do some analyzation so we could see. Uh, you can see that is there any kind of error here now the simulation okay now we just run this thing yes in run mode no just press this now you can see for the first full second for the first four seconds this is off this is on then it's off then for the next eight four seconds this is on then after that, the next four seconds, this is on and it would be off of 12. Yeah, that's it. This was a tutorial how to use timer and compare block together. Now I want you to do the same thing, but what I want is, like for the first four seconds, uh, like for the first four seconds, it should take, like the first output should take four seconds to get glow. The same thing, but... I want for the first full second, like uh, the timer shouldn't take, the timer should take four seconds as a delay to glow the first output. Similarly, the next four seconds should take for the second output, third output, like that. Like four seconds, then one, four seconds, then two, four seconds, then three, like that. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be teaching you some more about the counter next time and few more things that left in the suits thank you